your question is express function in the form of a minus b x plus c whole square where a b and c are constant state the range of function what they have given fx is equal to 2 minus 6x minus 3x square for x belongs to your real number so here what we have to do just we have to convert this in the form of this for this the easy way is what we have to arrange this in standard form that is your power should be in decreasing order so therefore it will be fx is equal to we can say minus 3x square minus 6x plus 2 now we will take common in first two only so you can see minus 3 is common so now it will become x square plus 6x sorry plus 2x plus 2 if you see in bracket x square plus 2x it's positive therefore we will take a plus b whole square a plus b whole square and minus b square so this is your this one bracket one so it will come like this and minus 3 is common here and plus 2 now we will find out the value of a and b for that what we have to do you can see a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab in that b square and minus b square get cancelled therefore a square is x square so we can say a is x next comes your 2ab 2ab is nothing but your 2x you can see a is x therefore a and x get cancelled 2 and 2 get cancelled so now we can say b is what 1 substitute these two values here we will get minus 3 and here it will come as x plus 1 whole square minus 1 1 square is 1 plus 2. Now open the bracket. We will get minus 3 x plus 1 whole square minus into minus is plus. Plus 3 plus 2. Now solve this. And they have told you to write this in front. That is A. So here it will come as 5 minus 3 x plus 1 whole square. So this is nothing but your fx. If you see the equation here, this is minus. That means we will get a maximum point. What is your maximum point? Solve this by taking that is equal to 0. If you take x plus 1 is equal to 0, that means x is minus 1. And y is nothing but your 5. Therefore, your maximum point is what? The coordinates of maximum point is minus 1, <coughs> comma 5. <coughs> now we will solve this. For taking out our coordinates, how we have to find out? We will make fx as 0 or you can say y as 0. So now you will get what? 5 minus... 3 x plus 1 whole square that is equal to 0. Bring this 5 to this side. 
यू विल गेट माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव माइनस एंड माइनस फोर ब्रिंग दिस थ्री टू डाउन यर इट विल बी एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई थ्री If x plus one whole square is five by three, what is your x plus one? So x plus one is equal to we can say plus minus root under five by three. Bring this one to this side. X is equal to we can say plus minus root under five by three minus one. So these are your x coordinates. Now we will find out the y coordinates. For that we have to take plus. Another time we have to take minus. So first we will take plus. Then y is what? You can see y is nothing but five minus three x plus one whole square. So here we will write what? Five minus three and in bracket x is your root five by three minus one and plus one whole square now solve this you will get five minus three minus and plus gone so here you will get five by three whole square root five by three whole square is five by Three and three gone. Five minus five is nothing but zero. And now we will take minus. If you take minus, y is what five minus three, and here it will come minus root five by three, minus one plus one, whole square. Again, minus one plus one gone. So this is minus root five by three, whole square. That is five by three again. So it will be what five minus three into five by three. Three and three gone. Five minus five is again zero. Therefore, your coordinates are what? The coordinates are x. If you take plus, then also you will get the y zero. So therefore, coordinates is root five by three minus one comma zero and root five by three minus root five by three minus one comma zero. These are your coordinates. Three coordinates you should get. What are they? One minus one comma five. This is second and this is third. So what is your end? Just see the value of your y-axis. You can see here five is there, here zero is there, here again zero is there. So that means this is your maximum point. After that it will reduce. Therefore, your range is what? F x should be less than equal to five. So this is your range. You can see after five, that is zero. 